There are days that I honestly forget that I'm a foreigner in Ghana. That is how much I have been here and I have blended in. In Ghana, I sound Nigerian. Like, anything I say here, I basically sound Nigerian to the Ghanaians. And then somehow I go home, and people are telling me at home that I sound Ghanaians. Blended the accent unknowingly, so here I sound Nigerian to them. And so I go home, and my friends will be like, oh, you're not sounding so Ghanaian. I'm like, how am i losing my identity <laughs> i am vanessa and i've been living in ghana now for five years i'm a foreigner living in ghana when i say foreigner it does sound like i'm like a diaspora or basically someone from outside the continent or basically not in west africa right? i'm a nigerian living in ghana so i, I should say i'm a nigerian living in ghana because foreigners sound so far away basically and at this point i don't think i should be considering myself a foreigner again because after living here for five years doing everything i've done it all i've visited a lot of region not all i'm still in the process of visiting all of them i have i've been to a lot of places i have attended a lot of festivals. I am I can basically can eat all the Ghania dishes or prepare all of them now if I wanted to. So. But back to what I'm saying, after living here for five years, integrating into the society, the funny aspect of it is that when I was moving to Ghana five years ago, I had no idea I was going to be in Ghana for this long, basically, because I was thinking I'm going to come to Ghana and do what I had to do in Ghana, and maybe I'll be back to Nigeria, basically, because I never envisioned me living outside of my country. Like, it was never in my plan, it has never been in my plan. It kind of just happened like I came here, I was supposed to be here for a long time, and somehow I fell in love with the place, and I just never left, and I've still been living here five years later, and I'm still loving it five years later, so should I be considered a local now? I think I should, if you ask me anyway. So yeah, I'm Vanessa, I've been enjoying living in Ghana, and on my channel, I give you the perspective of a foreigner living in Ghana. Was a Nigerian living in Ghana? I don't like saying Nigerian living in Ghana because I feel like when I start to, or when I start my videos with Nigerian living in Ghana, people automatically think, oh, I'm going to be one of those Nigerian YouTubers who basically want to start comparing both country. Ghana is this, Nigeria is that, Nigeria is this, Nigeria is that, and then we're going to look here and we're going to do this and we're going to do that. Before basically, <laughs> so I, I, I try to avoid saying I'm in Nigeria living in Ghana, I basically just say I'm a, I'm a foreigner living in Ghana. But saying foreigner, it's too foreign for me, so yeah, I'm going to stick with Nigeria living in Ghana, <laughs> basically. So yeah, I'm in Nigeria living in Ghana, I've been in Ghana for five years, it's been a long process. So yeah, I wanted to talk a bit about that, and for those of you who are new on my channel, you've not been on my channel for too long, or you basically just joined the family from some of the recent videos that I've made, the festival videos that you guys love so much, basically. Why Ghana, right? Before my move to Ghana, Ghana was the first African country I had ever visited before moving outside of Nigeria. Back in 2016, my young adult life, I basically visited Ghana for a while, for a little while, basically, and I discovered I liked it. It was a lot different from what I had in mind before visiting. Like I had like a different idea of what Ghana was before I visited Ghana. I do not know how to explain that to you. Like it was something quite different from what I thought it was. Coming here, what I expected wasn't what I got or what I saw. And somehow I loved it. Then I went back to Nigeria because I was still in school then and then graduated, did all of the whole thing and 2018. So anyway, I do not want to go into all of this backstory, but yeah, I wanted to give you like the short form answer to why Ghana, why did you move to Ghana, all right? Yeah, Ghana was like the first place I had ever visited. I've had in Nigeria and I felt absolutely at home. Basically, one thing with me is I prioritize comfort a lot. Like, if I had come to Ghana and I didn't feel welcome here, or I didn't feel at home here, I basically would not be living in Ghana by now. So yeah, I came here and I was basically just one of them. I did not feel like a foreigner. I don't know how to put that. 
I do, you know, because here on this YouTube street, one has to be very careful when you are talking about things because you can just say one particular thing like this and someone will just say, oh, this is that, oh, this is that. So I try to like be very careful with what I say. We should not be, a, it's a, yeah, we should not be the case basically, but it is what it is. Anyway, I'm, I'm playing a lot. So yeah, Ghana was the first country I visited and I felt at home. And when I came back to Ghana in 2018 and I had finished what I came to Ghana to do and then I continued living here, I just felt, I, you know, felt right at home. It didn't feel so much different from where I was coming from. I was, it wasn't like a lot of struggle trying to, you know, blend in or fit into this new society, this new place I'd find myself in. It wasn't too much of a struggle for me. Uh, granted, the early days, I had faced some challenges because I was moving from somewhere new. I was used to a particular way of life. And then I came here. So yeah, I felt right at home. And I've been living here now for five years. And I have visited other countries, several other African countries. I've been fortunate enough to visit other countries. I, I was recently in Togo. Oh my goodness. It was such an experience, basically. Like... That was the longest I spent in Togo. I did, I didn't vlog that. I do not know why I did not basically, but I should have. I think the next time I visit Togo, I'm going to vlog that for you also. So yeah, I visited several other countries, and basically, up till now, I have not found somewhere I think I will fit right in the way I fit in here in Ghana. Or the way I feel at home here in Ghana. So that's a short form of why Ghana. Yeah, I feel at home here. Yeah. I feel like one of them here. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's been amazing so far. Sometimes I feel like I have blended so much into the way of life here in Ghana. I know when I say Ghana, people will start coming, you live in Accra, you start saying Ghana. I've been to a lot of places outside of Accra. Basically, even before I started vlogging, basically because I started YouTube in 2021, late 2021, I think so, yeah. Before then, I have been living here for what three years, and I had visited a lot of places, and I have lived outside of Accra before. I feel like a lot of people think, "Oh, I just came and I've been living in Accra." No, I actually did live in Kaswa for a while also before Accra, and then I visited a lot of places. And even since I started vlogging, I have been to a lot of places. So like, I've mingled with these people. I've uh, experience the way of life in different regions i have seen the way people live in different regions i have been to, like i physically i've been to a lot of festivals learning about cultures i've eaten almost all the food not all there are lots i have not basically but let's just say the popular ones i've had the popular ones and i'm a washi gang for life basically i've been here for so long and missed this world for so long that sometimes i actually do forget that i'm living in a different country from my home country like there are days that i honestly forget that i'm a foreigner in ghana that is how much i have been here and i have blended in i think when uh, it is like that, when I completely forget that I'm a Nigerian or a foreigner living in Ghana, and then someone just point out my accent because are you Nigerian? I'm like, oh yeah, I'm Nigerian. I'm in Nigeria. I'm in Nigeria living here in Ghana. Basically, and the funny thing about the whole accent is in Ghana, I sound Nigerian like. Anything I say here, I basically sound Nigerian to the Ghanaians, and that's how I go home. And people are telling me at home that I sound Ghanaian. So it's like I have um, blended the accent unknowingly. So here I sound Nigerian to them. And so I go home and my friends will be like, oh, you're not sounding so Ghanaian. I'm like, how <laughs> am I losing my identity? <laughs> oh, that's why sometimes I just call myself a Nigerian, like a Nigerian and a Ghanaian blend together. Even if I am 100% Nigerian, I feel like I'm Nigerian now because I'm here and I'm Nigerian to them. And then I'm home and I'm Ghanaian to them. I do not know how that was, but somehow that has happened. I have blended the whole accent so much. And I think I have I've incorporated the way of life here so much that I behave a whole lot like them now. Because when you move to a new society, you're going to have to like learn new ways of life. And, and somehow, I think I go back home and I unknowingly show this trait. So I stand out. So I stand out here 
as a Nigerian, and then I'm home, and I stand out as someone that has them. Now at least will be different from them, which is something that for a long while was very confusing for me and conflicting, and I was like dealing with who oh, oh am I changing my personality too much? Will I still feed back home if I move back home and live there permanently now? Because I <laughs> people keep telling me you sound Ghanaian, but then I discover. There was nothing bad blending both personalities. There was nothing bad being a Nigerian that sounded like a Ghanaian in Nigerian because obviously I live in Ghana. I've been here for five years, so it's only proper that I have picked up several things from these people, the way they pronounce it certain things, the way they behave, the way they act, please to everything. There are lots of cultural cultural differences that somehow I have now blended together. So I discovered about that. It was nothing bad, you know, being that. And you know, here, yeah, when someone does say, oh, you're Nigerian, you sound Nigerian, I'm like, yeah, I'm Nigerian. And sometimes I'll be like, oh, I'm not Nigerian, I'm Ghanaian, I'm an Ewege. So how people still believe about Ewege? Like the other day, there were these two uh, Igbo guys that came to the shop and then they were talking to the workers obviously i was just standing there just very quiet and i was like oh you don't talk and then i said yeah i talk they're like oh you're nigerian i'm like no i'm not nigerian i'm ghanian the workers are there laughing they were like okay where are you from in ghana i'm like i'm an area they were like you do look like an area and maybe that's why you sound a bit nigerian they laugh or they laugh so not just them basically even some Ghanaians, i just jokingly just say Oh, I'm an area gay, basically, and I'd be like, you don't look like an area gay. So yeah, what I'm trying to say is, I have learned to be okay with being a Nigerian in Ghana and a Ghanaian in Nigeria. I do not know how to say that, basically. But yeah, that's happened. And I've been living here for so long, I ca I cannot honestly say I understand the language now because I have, I'm always saying I'm very terrible with languages. I did school in those states for five years. I still could not speak the language there. So it's not just, oh, you're in Ghana, you should learn. And I always tell people, learn the language and the rest of that. But I feel like I have been learning this language without even realizing I'm learning it, right? Because you cannot successfully carry out a conversation in three around me and I would not know what you're talking about. Like, I don't hear you. I don't know how to explain that, but I somehow understand everything no understand i don't know how i want to talk this thing past you see the word of switch to fusion english anyway i do not know how to explain this for you guys to understand me very well but i feel like if you two people are speaking three around me close to me i know everything you're talking about without actually understanding the language i feel like maybe because i've heard this language over and over again i know the way they pronounce a lot of things now and even like like i just uh, okay my well, other video i was saying i am recently figuring out the um, trotro routes to take to the shop every day even when i'm taking trotro and you know most of the mates here they speak to you right i do not need to tell you oh, english please anything you tell me i understand basically but i can't speak the language so i feel like i somehow can hear the language without actually understanding the language so anything you, you like i go to the market the the women they speak to me in three and i reply them english we basically just understand ourselves like that so i feel like i understand the language without necessarily understand i don't know how to explain that i'm confusing myself right because you're not just the one that's confused i think i'm a bit confused also but yeah that's happened i understand the language Quite a bit now, and then also, like I said, 2021, I, I, I begin my journey. I began my journey into content creation. Content creation in Ghana, it's been really fun. I feel like I started content creation here in Ghana, and I've like created a lot of things actually in my life as a foreigner living in Ghana. So yeah, content creation is Ghana in Ghana. It it it, it has had its own uh, up and side or uh, upside and downside up and down basically but yeah in general sense it's been quite an experience learning how to navigate my way around the whole Ghanaian internet being like the non 
the non-local youtuber that's a bit local now because the kind of content i do basically the way i show you the ghanaian culture the way i show you lots of things you would think i'm a ghanaian right i always get comments like you are enjoying these things too much oh the way you enjoy this are you sure you're not ghanaian i might be ghanaian i don't know anyway i've been eating your food and drinking your water for so long i might be one of you now so it is what it is i'm feeling it too much but yeah Content creation, I've like, you know, learning to navigate my way around the whole Ghanaian internet space and feel like, I kind of like, I think in the earlier days I was feeling like I didn't belong in it. So I was focusing my content more like uh, just sitting down and talking about my life living here versus my life living in Nigeria. And then I, think I feel like I gradually, I have called, I'll be back. Anyway, like I was saying, in the earlier days of me creating content here in, in Ghana, I there was a time I didn't actually feel like I belonged in the space. Yeah, I was always studying like, as a foreigner, the Nigerian girl in Ghana creating content. But I feel like when I, over time, started integrating um, vlog, going to different places and showing this life and showing you things, like the festivals i attend i love going to visiting several regions and discovering new things about ghana over time i'm still an nigerian youtuber in ghana and i'm seeing cousins that are an nigerian youtuber in ghana but i feel like i belong more now i'm not just a nigerian youtuber who come and make comparison about nigeria and ghana and how much i hate nigeria I don't understand how people hate their own identity not me anyway you cannot be i feel like if you've been on my channel for a while you discover that i love being a nigerian and i love my life in ghana also and i've looked for a way to bridge both without necessarily making one seem like oh i hate this one or oh, this one is better than this one i've learned not to live my life like that yeah and another thing is collaborating with a diverse set of persons i feel like since i began my journey into youtube i have collaborated with everyone basically i did not just feel like oh because i'm nigerian i'm only going to collaborate with the nigerian youtubers no or i'm just going to collaborate with the Ghanaian youtubers trying to like fit in i don't group myself as like hey, a nigerian youtuber or a Ghanaian youtuber i'm just a youtuber basically we do not need to bring identity into everything so i've learned to like you know be able to collaborate with different set of persons be very diverse when it comes to you know content creation so i've collaborated with different people from different places if you're on my channel you've seen everyone on my channel i feel like my channel is somewhere that i can easily bring people from different places and just bring them together and we're just having fun as individuals not as our whole nationals i don't know if you understand that yeah so collaborating it's been really it's been really fun learning to like uh, create content with different people blend bring different people together blend the whole oh this my identity i have to be this i have to be that together just you know uh, learning to share common space the being the internet or the the youtube community in ghana and just you know be one and not be nigerian or ghanaian or south african or whatever i've collaborated with virtually everyone and i feel like we've helped each other a lot when it comes to the youtube journey that's from all the persons i've collaborated with all of the now i have the delivery hello and that brings me to brand collaboration, collaborating with brands here. So when it comes to brand collaboration, yeah, I've collaborated with a lot of brands basically up to now. But I do not make my content focused about, oh, I'm only going to make content for brands that are paying me. Because when you focus on the money aspect of creating content alone, I feel like you tend to like lose the whole reason why you started content creation in the first place so when it comes to brand collaboration one thing i let brands i'm working with know is i'm just going to come 
and I'm just going to see if I like it. If I like it, and I'm going to say it as it is. If I do not like it, I'm not going to water it down. So, and a lot of places I actually go to are unsponsored. A lot of the trips I go to are unsponsored. Have I been in a lot in sponsored trips? No, I feel like I've been just two or so. And it wasn't like fully sponsored. It was like, oh, come off our free rooms or whatever. I still have to pay for my way down there. I do not tend to like focus my brands around the money. I'm so sorry, I had a package delivery, so I have to go after a bit. Ooh. I should start doing unboxing videos. I keep saying I'm going to start a personal channel. Why show you like a personal uh, part of my life? Apart from just the whole toys and this the kind of videos I make. Yeah. <laughs> I've actually recorded a lot of videos on that because I do want to start putting those videos on this channel. You know, uh, unboxing, trying on new things, and just personal vlogs. And anyway, I'm still trying to focus on that. So yeah, when it comes to brand collaboration, I have learned or I've been trying so far to try and be authentic. So if I tell you I actually like it, please, it's because I genuinely like it, or because someone paid me to say I like it. So yeah. I'm open to more brand collaboration, basically. So I'm open to brand reaching out to me. I am free to come and create content, but then I have to be like objective, basically. So if your brand wanted to work with me, have that in mind that I'm going to come and I'm going to be objective and I'm going to be like, be truthful when I say I like a place or not. You get all right? And that brings us to festivities. The festivals I've been to, I've enjoyed really discovering new festivals in Ghana and attending. I think I started the whole festivities in December last year when I went to the fancy dress. I cannot wait to go back this year. I basically have someone making me fancy dress uniform, putting me in a group. This year is going to be fun. I told them I'm a local now. I should be considered a local now, basically. I'm basically just walking through my life here, five years of the year and the rest of that. So yeah. And I recently went to Jollof, the, the, you know, the, the food festival happened uh, several in a year, right? Like, it happens more often than other festivals. So the last one was amazing. I've never edited it yet, but I think I'm going to edit that. It's going to be up on the channel. This Sunday, I met our favorite brand there also. <laughs> I met the, the Adaha uh, band. The ones that perform at the Akwele Festival. Have you seen that? I think you've seen that because that video, yeah, a lot of us have seen that basically. So this last festival I went to the festival, somehow people are not recognizing me. So I go there and I could see that the band recognized me and I immediately got shy the way I turned around. I don't know where to show you that video. But then I had to film because I ended to film, but I don't think most people realize that I'm a um, extremely shy and introverted like i feel like my personality on camera people would think i'm extroverted i am not like <laughs> if people recognize me when i'm feeling us i get so shy it's amazing but so far they're not recognizing me because a lot of persons approach me they oh i know you I, I saw you at the Apple Festival. I'm like, yeah, girl, you're yeah, fucking there. And someone just approached me. I was like, you going to dance here? Yeah, I saw you dancing at the Apple Festival. I'm like, of course I'm going to dance. Of course I'm going to dance. But first, I'm going to eat fufu first. That video is so fun. I cannot wait for you to see that video. Yeah, when it comes to festival, I have enjoyed visiting a lot. And there are a lot coming out this August that I am ready for. That it is going to be so much fun. Like, I have a lot of them. And I love the fact that a lot of you here basically send me festival dates. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Even the ones you think I don't know about, am I? But still tell me about them, basically. <laughs> Let me go and learn about new places, new things. I really, I've really enjoyed learning about your culture, if you're in Ghana. Different culture, different places. Learning about the airway culture, the Ashantis, all of that. I've enjoyed them. So, even if you think it will be too far for me, Tell me, I might just, you know, end up turning up there. That one is another point. Another point is learning to navigate my way around Accra. I feel like I am really a local because I fairly, fairly know my way around the city. Like every corner of this city, I can say, I okay. Formerly, I used to think I know everywhere, 
but this last two is that i've been going to the shop every day i have learned new routes new places and one thing i even want to ask is who own a nest pharmacy like how am i just noticing that there is a nest pharmacy and everywhere in this Ghana like everywhere you go to there's one NS pharmacy there's some places you go to you see the opposite each other like if it's an ind if it's own if it's an individual owner corporation or company i really want to know the owner because hats off like everywhere you go to the owner of that company or NS pharmacy have personalized the whole industry i can basically I, I recently started noticing that no, it, it doesn't belong that notice that there is NS pharmacy ever. So if you're ever in Ghana and you're lost, look for NS pharmacy. <laughs> you see them everywhere. You <laughs> seriously see every corner, even the most remote corner, there is an NS pharmacy there. That's good business uh, strategy, by the way. I love it. I really, really enjoy it if i must say so yeah let, let me to navigate my way around i can i had to because paying ubers everywhere is not really fun and when you just focus on using ubers everywhere you don't know a lot of places so me every route now that a throttle throw goes to i know where to get this and know where to get that and if i don't know i can easily ask like if you meet me like that and say oh i need to go to this lane go here you get the to this lane so i've learned to navigate my way around the city so much that i feel like i know the city fairly not like know it because there are a lot of places i still haven't visited or a lot of places i still don't know yet but i've lived in a lot of corners i've lived in a adenta houses basically before i've lived in a it's like on hills I've lived in a lot of places in Accra, so it's not like I've just lived in where I'm living now. No, I've lived in a lot of places, but I'm just now getting to know the Dansuma houses because that's one houses that up till now I didn't really know too much. I'm just learning about the houses now. So the whole Malam area, Dansuma, Dankuma, all those places, I'm blending my way around there. You, you should know there are a lot of roads there that it's a connect, and when there is traffic, there's a way you can dodge it. Like when I tell you, I know how to navigate this city now. I'm very good joking that I'm learning every day anyway. So, yeah, navigating this city, it's been, it's been fun. And that thing is reflecting on the years that I've been here. I feel like I'm going to do like a life update video, five years living in Ghana, life update video for you guys. And then we'll talk about all the years living in Ghana, how life has been all of that the last time i did that was three years in ghana that was when i just started youtube it was one of the first videos i did in ghana on this channel basically talking about three years living in ghana life update so i, I think when i have the time because i do not film a lot of sit down videos these days i'm going to film a lot more of them now because i feel like that's the only way we can actually connect Get to just talk to each other like this at the way now so but i enjoy creating vlogs i'm really focusing more on the vlogs but i'm going to learn to you know integrate the sit down into the vlog and blend the whole thing up so i'm going to do like a life update video where i reflect on the years but yeah once in a while i just sit down and reflect on the years i've spent in ghana it, uh, has a country make a positive impact on me? Has life been here? Do I genuinely feel like this is somewhere I can be long term? Do I feel like I belong now? I sit down and reflect on the end, be like, yeah, I feel like I've had a pretty. Um, anyway, my life has not been terrible, so I can't say it's been terrible. I've had up and down like everywhere, but I feel like anywhere you're living in this continent. Even outside of the continent, there is up and down. You have the whole thing. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to do a, a, a life of the video where we, you know, touch on that more than I have now. Should I put on my channel gun? Yeah, nah. <laughs> I feel like I should, right? Anyway, I'm a banner. If you do not know, I am not actually an abena. I should be a ya, but I like abena. We shall stick it to Abena. You know the whole day name thing. Yeah, I'm Abena, whether you like it or not. <laughs> anyway, that brings us to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I've learned to like, you know, take you guys out, you know, 
my gang my tribe that's why i say hi tribe you guys are my tribe thank you so much for sticking with me on this journey coming on this journey i cannot wait to like give you guys more fun content on this channel but yeah so far it's been fun i hope you've been having fun on this channel also and when i eventually start to create content for the new channel please support that so you can see like a more personal aspect of my life than i already shared because i feel like i don't show you a lot but my personal life which is why when i started i hope a lot of people were like so surprise i'm like why are you so fire i'm like that wasn't real life i really do not put a lot of my personal life out here on this channel so i'm going to, and this channel now i've niched it out so i feel like a lot of you are just here for the whole Ghanaian content and when i go back to nigerian content just sharing you both you know my life here in in, in ghana in nigeria so yeah when i go to other channel we're going to to double mind so my personal life is today life personal vlog we are shop we are buying things in ghana i live in ghana it's going to be fun and it's going to be more personal than this so yes please support me when that happens here yeah, before you leave if you're here you don't subscribe to this channel subscribe and join our tribe join the family i'm just feeling myself i don't know how i'm feeling myself anyway i'm going to see you guys in the next one don't forget to like comment and subscribe and share also road to thank you let's get to thank you yeah thank you so much bye